If you're expecting a little one to be coming into your home soon, you have a lot to prepare for. If you happen to be a dog owner, you've got a lot more to prepare for because they'll be affected by the new arrival just as much. News 8's Allie Reed, who is expecting herself, tells us how to get ready to help the dog get ready for the baby. As many of you know, my husband and I are getting ready to welcome our first baby into the world. But we already kind of feel like we have a child. That would be our dog, Nell. But we, of course, appreciate and understand it's going to be a big transition for her. So we reached out to Richard and Vicki Horowitz from Barkbusters to help us out, come over to our house, and tell us what we need to do to make the transition a bit smoother for all of us. A lot of times people don't even get in touch with us or are concerned about the dog until like a week or two before the baby is born. And then it's panic. What do I do? Um, because they don't consider the dog and the changes in the household that are going to take place and they're dramatic changes. They say you want to make all of the adjustments before baby shows up. That way the dog doesn't blame the changes on the baby. Start carrying around and you carry around the doll and you carry and so the dog gets used to you first of all carrying something but then getting used to the sounds that the baby makes because a lot of dogs get very stressed by the tone of the baby's cry or it's just something that they're not used to. She also says to put the lotion that we'll use on the baby on either the doll or a blanket so that Nell can also get used to the baby's scents, which brings us to the nursery. So we're in the baby's room. We definitely want Nell to be allowed in here. Are there any sort of rules, guidelines we should think about implementing before the baby arrives? Absolutely. So one of the rules is that Nell should only be allowed in the baby's room when you are here. Because while you're here, you can monitor her behavior. They say to put up a baby gate to control when Nell can come in the room. They also say it's time to rethink what furniture Nell is allowed up on. She has to start, start to learn that it's okay if she sits here, but if she goes to climb on you, you're going to stand up to communicate to her that no, you don't want her on your lap when you're holding the baby. Up until now, Nell has had full access to furniture, but they say once the baby gets here, it's safer for the baby to have Nell stay off the nursing chair, a new habit that is definitely going to take a while to form. You're going to need to actually practice this and set this up. Because she's used to sitting with me in all chairs. Right. And so that you, you know, and the rule might be it's only in this room. That is where she sits. Okay. You mean this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing here? This is not going to happen? <laughs> well, you know, the thing is that, you know, you have to think about how the dog is going to interpret the baby. Right. <laughs> and the most important thing is that the dog and baby are both safe. You can see we're going to have a situation here. This right, is, right. Yeah. So she's going to have to learn that this chair is off limits. Okay. It's a good thing we have five weeks until baby arrives because it's going to take a while for all of us to be retrained. Speaking of when the baby arrives, they say my husband should bring home a hat or blanket with a baby scent on it for Nell to sniff out before we bring him home from the hospital. And then there's the moment Nell will meet her baby brother for the first time. So the introduction has to be done slowly and methodically. We did a test run with my friend's baby. Oh, look who's here. Look at this. Okay, so that's, so that's what you might want to say. <laughs> Bad. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good so, girl. So you, that's what you want to start to communicate to her. Yes, you can sit by her, but I don't want you going to lick her face. While I had my friend's baby on loan, they had me practice walking with Nell and the baby stroller. And you want to make sure that Nell knows where she has to stand and that she doesn't pull in front of you. And if she does, you're going to use your bad word to, to correct her. And you, but, you recommend a particular kind of leash, yes, right? Yes, and absolutely you should use a cotton leash because a cotton leash is safer. Retractable leashes can, can stretch, they can tear, they can, they can break, and they can wrap themselves around you and the baby carriage and someone can get hurt. Um, so you want to make sure you use a cotton leash to much, have much more reliability. You also want to praise Nell for walking nicely on leash as she's doing an awesome job not pulling in front of you. Good girl, Nell. It's not just walks Nell will have to learn to share, toys too. They say it's a good idea to introduce dog-only toys to her now so she doesn't confuse her toys with the babies. Even though Nell is about to turn nine, they say it's never too late to form new habits. Our Bijan was eight when we trained him. Wow, so it's so never too late. It's never too late. Time now for treats and a little rest after a long day of this old dog learning new tricks. For News 8, I'm Allie Reed.